Here's an interesting question. Which is the better place to pick? Your local flea market or random Goodwill stores? In this video, we're gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna to go to four Goodwills and one flea market, and then at the end, we're gonna compare what we buy and see which one is actually better. So let's head out to the flea market and see what we can get. Here they're kinda of early. Hello. That's cool. Is this the camera that it goes with? Yeah, all that goes together. Oh, okay. Okay, we need to get that camera. Yeah, I'm just kind of piddling around. There's not much going on. What's y'all's price on this? Hey, you fella. $50. 50 yes, I went trout fishing. Do you know if it works? A week ago. Yeah. Uh, we never used it. I don't know. Oh, okay. Hmm. We got it at an antique auction down in Lexington. Would you do 40 for it? $40? Okay. Yeah, I'll grab it. Taking a big risk on that camera, but I think I'll do okay. Jeez, ten dollars. It's expensive. I guess I got a handbag. Morning, Corey. Oh, hey. How are you? Oh, oh pretty good. I, I, I sold it. I sold it. And my son said it might have been worth a thousand. I said, you know if this Wii works? I do not. Oh. Okay. What's your price on it? I do like fifteen dollars for it. If you, if you sound if you're good, yeah. I think I think it'll be. I think it's worth that. But if you do those kind of things where it don't work, can you use it for parts? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Sometimes there's a game inside or something too. Maybe for five, it's fifteen. Yeah, it's like a pretty cool one to have because I never see the black ones with these little ports here. Oh, I just see you have the power cord right there. Right, well, you you. Yeah. Whatever you see over here. You have this you have the parts for this. If it's for that wheel, you take it. Yeah, yeah. I think cool. this is, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. That is, this is Oh here, if you can unravel it. Um this little metal thing is. Actually all this is except okay. for the These are all Jacks, which is kind of a cheapy company, but it might be worth getting. How much are your little toys in here? Oh, it's a different price. Oh, what about these four? Two uh, dollars. Two? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Do you want to buy? Um, I can just throw it in my bag here. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Some doges. Hey guys. Take five piece, but take them all. You want all of them? Okay. Okay. Oh, decay's like. I was gonna think about selling decay. Like 50, 55. For all the chicken, for all the bottom ones. How much for the cage? Okay. Okay, the dark tab one's going for about 25 ish. The conjuring two one. So it's about 25 as well. 2530. It's okay. No, no, no. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll lock it for you. Thank you. I see you. Yes, I do. Is it catching it? Is it catching it? Uh oh. You took it all over. It's too fast. He's hiding under the truck there. 
yeah. Oh, quick question for you. How much are your toys here? Oh, ten a piece. Ten uh, a piece. Crap. Yeah. Charizard and this is for five. Okay. Ten a piece. Uh, twenty-five a piece. Hmm. It's been opened. I see something in there. Can't sell them new because they've been opened. Okay. Um, They're missing like parts and stuff? Yeah. yeah uh, well, yeah. it works, but I'm missing. It looks like it's missing the breakaway cable, so. Yeah. What about this thing? Um, I'll do five on it. Five and three. Sweet. All right. Yes, sir. All right. What's that book? What? What's that book? Dollar bill. Everything on this table is done. Hey, I'm, I'm 74 and I don't remember you. Street beast. They got to do something. I hope the fuck it bumps is back in the office. Yes, sir. Whether you like the man or not like the man, he's a businessman. People died to have the freedom to say, I might not agree with you. Biology lab. Let's grab these. Here you go. I got three things over here. All right, sure. Yep. Need a bag? You um, I can just throw them in here. All Thank right. you. I got some bags over there. Proud of us to pop in a thousand business. Yeah, someone's telling me half a million. Yeah, yeah. that's the same how many adventures. Got books and a little bit of movies, man. That's all I have today. Ah, cool. How much are your Stephen King books? I say on the big ones like that, five. Okay. Little soft back ones like that too. Break the back. I'll grab this pet cemetery. So I, guess, I guess he he writes books too, don't he? Uh, I'm not sure if he does. So this is a first edition of Stephen King's Pet Cemetery in awful condition. Looks like it's a first print. I'm not sure what this book currently is selling for, and especially not in this condition, but we'll look it up when we get back. Please don't be scratched. Okay, looks like it's been run over by a truck. How much are your all's games? Uh, make you all of them six dollars. Six? Do you want that many, all of them? I'm just interested in this one. I, okay. I have the other. Three? Okay, cool. Thank you, sir. Look at it. Like Thank you so there. much. 119. <laughs> Pick it up and do anything you want to, but I guarantee you everything on this original. That's cool. Yes, sir. That's the flint piece that goes in it. It's, it's got a doll. Yeah. It's such a short barrel for that period. It's kind of looks strange. Well, that, what I was told, they was on the shield. Oh, that would make sense, yeah. Huh? That See, that's what that's all about, was the shields. Hmm. Well, thanks for letting me look at it. Yes, sir. No, sir. Thank you. Let me see what it's called again. Snap on 10 millimeter. Oh, yeah. 10 millimeter, that's it. Yeah, I was like, Other stuff. that's everything. I'm glad I found that. What's your price on this little cassette player? Um, $2. That sounds good. Yeah, I'll buy it. All right, we got a lot of money left over and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what I bought. Let's head home. I did cheat a little bit. I went to that same flea market two days in a row. It's because there was like some festival or something and hardly any sellers showed up, so I kind of had to. I don't think it'll skew the results too much, but still, these Goodwills better be insane because we got some pretty great stuff at the flea market. Happy Labor Day. Oh, wow. That's pretty uncommon right there. 
I'll have to get that. It's all the common stuff you see everywhere. Oh wow, look at that. Definitely getting that. Holy cow. Two James Bond books. It's like a whole series. These are penguin. Dude. We gotta look those up. Wow. Oh wow. Jackpot. Always buy these when you see them. Dungeons and Dragons, Forgotten Realms. There's some more of them. Some Goosebumps books. Pretty old Donald Duck. I'm guessing 90s. It doesn't say. Come on, team. Let's suit up and swing out. Yeah, look that up as well. Yeah, this thing, it's worth about $15, but it has a terrible sell through rate. Let's throw that back. This one's like 15. It's like $15. I'm not gonna get that. And check these out. These are old. There's two of them. Sesame Street. They're worthless. Good thing I looked. in the back there. Okay, that was an awesome Goodwill. Got some Criterion Collection stuff, some rare DVDs. That was pretty crazy. We got one more to go to. No soliciting. Okay, these Bibles are got a little bit of value. Get it. See a book on UFOs. These are cool. Always buying these. I'll see them. It's like the entire Left Behind series. Okay, so the whole set sells for that. Dude, that's insane. Oh my gosh. They're literally all here. Let's go get a cart. There's only one missing. I'll have to buy that separately. Got it. Okay, that's all of them. Sweet. Just for you. From July 19th to August 31st, you can enjoy a wild 50% off all books. That's 
Dusty cannon bag. There it is. All right, this is good. Let's get out. So here's everything we picked up from the flea market. I spent $73 for all of this stuff. And this is everything we picked up from the four random Goodwills where I spent $112. So let's take a look now at the individual items to see what kind of profit we can expect once we flip everything. We'll start with the Goodwill stuff. The best items were these two book series, both of which are actually complete. I'm gonna ask around $125 for both of them. So a $97 profit on the James Bond series and 85 on the Left Behind Kids. I also got another book set from the Wheel of Time Fantasy series, which isn't complete unfortunately, and I did pay a lot for them, but I think I can still sell them for around $35. And here's a bunch of DVDs and random books I picked up, paid $14 for all of this, which of course I'm going to sell individually, but about $43 in total value here, so not bad at all. The two best DVDs we picked up are Art of Fighting, which is worth around $25, and this Criterion Collection set of three silent films, which goes for about $30. And two of the better individual books I got were The Lost World, which is a first trade edition. I'm gonna ask $20 for it. And then this vintage 1980s Precious Moments Bible. It goes for about $15 to $20 on eBay, so pretty good profit there. We also got this Sony Walkman portable speaker system. It's worth about $15. I paid just three for it. And then lastly was this Canon camera bag. It was $2. I'm going to ask $18 for it. So in total value, we have roughly $451 worth of stuff we picked up from the four Goodwills. So now let's take a look at the flea market finds to see how they compare. First up is this black backwards compatible Wii. Um, but thankfully, this one plays fine, so I can list it for about $40. Although I may toss in some extra random games and ask even more. And then we got some little toy figures here for just 50 cents a piece. These Mario Koopas by Jax, I'm going to sell them for $18. And then this Ludron, I think that's how you say it, <laughs> I'll list for $13. I paid just a dollar for this Hot Wheels set. It's a bit worn, but I'm going to ask $14 for it. I didn't know what this was, but apparently this Gray's bag is for field hockey. And it's worth about $20. From the same place I got that bag, I got this Harley Davidson vintage pouch, which I guess you would like attached to your motorcycle or something. But uh, I was shocked to see that it currently sells for like $45 to $50 on eBay. And it turns out a first edition, first print of Pet Cemetery can sell for well over $100. However, this one is in bad condition, but it should be an easy sell for about $25. The only video game I found was this Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. A really awesome game, but not super valuable. I'm going to sell it for $12. I always pick up cassette players if they're cheap. This Kobe one goes for $16 easy on eBay. I bought and sold dozens of these Ultra Sensor Bars, so had to grab this one. I usually sell them for around $20. And then we got this blue original Xbox controller. These are getting harder and harder to find. Uh, this one's missing the breakaway cable, but it's still worth an easy $24. And then the last thing we picked up was this Pentax vintage camera with a bunch of accessories. I knew I was taking a risk buying this because I didn't know if it worked. Turns out it was a great gamble. It works just fine. So I'll be able to sell it for about $125 at the least, but I may just price it higher. I haven't really decided. But yep, the full value of everything we got at the flea market comes out to $372, but we did spend quite a bit less than we did at the Goodwills. I was pretty surprised at the results of this experiment. I mean, the Goodwills actually held their own against the flea market. I mean, the effort that I put in and the time I spent there, it was pretty equal to be honest. So the takeaway for me is that it doesn't really matter where you go, just go out there and you can still find great stuff. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we got another video coming in just a couple days, so make sure you subscribe if you'd like to catch that one. And I will see you guys the next time.